What is up, guys? My name is Ryan's18 on the Ryan's18 Forever channel, and right now I'm going to give you guys my predictions on Extreme Rules 2012, where the, the one night where WWE goes extreme. We start off with Divas Champion Nikki Bella, the newly won uh, Divas Champion Nikki Bella versus Beth Phoenix, the Glamazon, who had uh, quote unquote uh, injured her ankle. Um, if she does not compete, I predict that she could pros. There could be a possible return of Karma since Karma uh, said last year that when she returns she would get the Bellas. And apparently the Bellas will be leaving WWE at the end of this month, which would be on Monday. So I guess Nikki and Brie Bella are going to be leaving by that time. Um, so that would probably lose, she'll probably lose the championship. So pretty much I think Beth Phoenix would win. But if things get changed and Karma comes back, then of course Karma is going to win. So yeah, either way, Nikki Bella does not win. Then we go on to the pre-show where we would see United States Champion Santino Morella versus The Miz for the United States Championship. Um, pretty simple. I think Santino's just going to pull off another upset, uh, beating The Miz um, with the shocker uh, win. Then we move on to the Intercontinental Championship match between Big Show and Cutter Rhodes. This is the only match of the night that's actually not a stipulation, along with the Divas Championship match. Um, which I'm surprised about. I thought we were going to see something last night on Friday Night SmackDown, but apparently we didn't. Um, who I think is going to win? Personally, I think it's going to be... I, I think Big Show is going to win this be, just because I think he can hold more prestige to the title than Cody Rhodes did. Don't get, me wrong, don't get me wrong, Cody Rhodes had a good reign. He just didn't defend it as much, but he still brought the least prestige by giving it the throwback uh, championship uh, belt. So yeah, Big Show will probably win the with the W W N D, um, and uh, that'll be the end of that match. Then we move on to Randy Orton versus Kane, a rematch from WrestleMania. Basically, this whole card is a full of rematches from WrestleMania, except for the main event between John Cena and Brock Lesnar. Um, so we have Randy Orton versus Kane, Falls Count Anywhere match. Um, this is going to be a brutal match. There's going to be uh, no no anything goes. These guys can fight outside. They, these guys can fall just count anywhere. They can they can get he they can get pinned um, in front of a lobby. It doesn't matter. But um, who I think is gonna win personally, Randy Orton, just because of the loss that he suffered at WrestleMania against Kane. Um, and the Viper will probably unleash uh, hell on Kane, like he said last night. Um, and uh, to prove that the monster can be beaten, since Kane says that no one can beat the monster. So Randy Orton for the win. Um. And then we would have is the Chicago street fight between WWE champion CM Punk versus Chris Jericho. This feud has been building up for a long time. Um, we had the match at WrestleMania 28, which is a pretty good match. A lot of counters, a lot of reversals um, with CM Punk winning the match. And I think since it's in his hometown of Chicago, Illinois, CM Punk would be rightfully the winner of the match since Chris Jericho will be leaving next month to go tour with Fozzie. Um, but that's a story for another, another time. Um, so CM Punk will definitely uh, hurt Jericho pretty bad. Well, these guys will injure each other pretty bad in this match. I mean, Chicago street fight. They can f fight outside. They can fight wherever they want. The same thing as the Falls Count Anywhere match, except for Chicago street fight. It's pretty more brutal than it would be with uh, with the Falls Count Anywhere match. But anyway, uh, CM Punk for the win. Uh, he retains the WWE Championship. And I think at the end, we'll see... Lord Tenzai come out since it's been rumored that Lord Tenzai is supposed to feud with CM Punk. It'll probably give him uh, his finisher, of course, for into Lord Tenzai, uh, just to start off the feud. And then we would have the rematch, the 18 second rematch between Sheamus versus Daniel Bryan, two out of three falls match. Who do I think is going to win? Personally, I don't think it's Daniel Bryan. No yes men, no nothing. Personally, I think it's going to be Sheamus. Sheamus is, I like Sheamus as a World Heavyweight Champion. I respect Sheamus. And uh, he's gonna win. I think, I think it'll it'll be another another uh, way how, how every two out of three falls match has always been decided by a third pinfall. So we'll probably get a pin. For, we'll got probably get a submission from from Daniel Bryan, uh, giving the yes the now the yes lock to Sheamus, and then Sheamus probably giving the bro kick to Daniel Bryan, and then uh, probably Sheamus will hit another bro kick or do the. Celtic Cross or whatever, I forgot how, or the High Cross, excuse me, uh, to uh, Daniel Bryan. Then in the main event, you have John Cena versus Brock Lesnar. Um, what transpired last Monday proves that John Cena could be going back to his basic thugonomics. 
But if Cena gets injured, and if you guys have been seeing a lot of my videos now that I've been saying that Cena's going to get injured, Cena Punk's going to take over the WWE over the summer like he did last year. Um, but if that doesn't happen, I mean, we can see a heel turn from John Cena or him just being going back to basic Cleganomics because on Monday Night Raw, we saw Cena uh, coming out with uh, the steel chain that he's always come out to during his basic Cleganomics era. Um, personally, I think Brock Lesnar is going to win this one just because, not because I don't like Cena. I respect Cena. I can tell you that right now. I respect Cena. There's a major difference between like and respect. You can like a guy, you can hate a guy, but you have to still have to respect him. I respect John Cena for everything that he's done in the business and everything that he does outside of the business. So Brock Lesnar will probably win, probably with an F5, or probably he'll come up with a new move, whatever. But apparently, if you guys haven't seen my video of uh, Brock Lesnar's new ring gear, it's a mix of his UFC gear and uh, WWE gear. Um, so, uh, this has been my Extreme Rules 2012 predictions. Let me know what you guys see down below. And in the description box, I'm going to be leaving a link. Um, that link is a poll. Um, uh, what, I'm going to leave it to you guys, to the fans. Uh, it's going to be, I'm going to be like John Lorna's People Power. What I want to know is, what should I talk about in my next video? The choices will be in, down in, in the description box below with the link. If you click on the link, and just vote whatever you guys want. One that gets the most votes is the one that I, would, I will talk about, the topic that I will talk about. So I'm out, guys. You guys um, enjoy Extreme Rules tomorrow night, and I'm out, guys. Peace.